to another regaling a strange fantasy. Obscure odysseys meant to shock the nervous system and stir the very core of your soul. Tonight's tale is that of a man riddled with inner turmoil and shaken with anxiety over his mysterious and elusive dreams. Or possibly the things that reside within them. In this installment entitled The Nightmare Phantom. Henry. 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 Huh? Oh, my apologies, Doc. I do that from time to time. You don't have to apologize, Henry. After all, you are on your dollar. So what were you thinking about? When? Just a moment ago. Her. Her. This supposed dream woman. The one and the same. How often do you lose touch from reality like that? What do you mean? Well, you were talking about your day, then you drifted away. Well, I wouldn't say that it happens often. What caught my curiosity is that you stopped in mid-sentence to think about her. Why? <laughs> if I knew that, do you think I'd still be sitting here in front of you? Now, Henry, we've made some serious progress over the past few months. Now is not the time for adverse behavior. Yeah. Describe to me what it feels like when you think about her. Well, it feels like when you've been inside all day. Then you walk outside, become entrenched by warm sunlight. It sucks me in and holds me. It's getting to the point where well, I can't control it from happening. Let us pick up from where we left off last week. Uh, ah, here we are. Last week we delved into the frequency of this woman in your dreams, and we discussed the relevance of your mother and childhood. Like I told you last week, Dr. Lynch, my mother holds no relevance to her. I understand that you think that, Henry, but you've never quite explained why there's no relevance. Well, my childhood was the standard of what normal is based off of. My mother and father loved and cared for me just fine. The only exception to my normalcy as a kid was this woman in my dreams. Constantly there. Always there. How old were you when she first appeared? I have a feeling that she's just always been there. Then... When did you first realize she was there? Eight. That's a very impressionable age. How did she appear to you? Well, at first she was just a silhouette in the corner of my sight. How long until she became clearer? Years. Now, in your dreams, can you remember what was happening when you first noticed her? Yes. I remember very clearly. I was falling, forever it seemed. I was falling down a narrow hole that had a small pinhole of light at the end. It was so far away. Did you feel any sense of fear or vulnerability as you fell? No. I felt nothing. I always feel nothing in my dreams, like the way a newly born feels no sense of concern or safety. There's no need to feel anything. So, is that when you notice her for the first time? Yes, in the corner of my eye. She was there. What did she look like? Well, there were no features at this point, just a silhouette in white amongst all of this darkness. Did she do anything as you were falling? No. She fell with me. I remember getting closer to that pinhole of light. It became so bright that it woke me. 
and this morning. For 12 years, that was my only dream I'd ever had. So typically, dreaming about falling is the mind's symbolic way of alerting the dreamer to a situation in their waking life where they feel out of control or where things are quite literally going quickly downhill. But at such a young age to be experiencing these types of dreams in such a repetitious manner is very peculiar. Well, the peculiar part hasn't even really started yet. About five years back is when the dreams became more vivid. It starts off the same way each time. I'm falling down the same hole, the same pinhole of light beneath me. I'm completely aware of everything around me, especially her. I've become tired of her taunting me from the corner of my sight, so I call out to her, challenging her. And out from the corner she came to me, a visage cloaked in a heavenly white. She was beautiful. I'd never seen such remarkable beauty before, nor ever will I. She came face to face and hushed me like a little child. I remember it felt like I almost lost consciousness for a moment. Then she spoke so softly. And then the pinhole of light consumes us and I wake up. It's been like that ever since. Over the past five years, you've consistently gained lucidity in your dreams. And that's quite impressive, Henry. Well, I just wanted to know who she was. And who is she? She's the only thing I'll ever love. You love her? A figment of your imagination. No, 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 no. It's not like that. What we have is real. She is real. As real as you or me. Henry dreams are not real. They're a series of thoughts, images, and sensations that occur in your mind during sleep. There's no tangibility to be had from them. Well, I strongly disagree. And why are you here, Henry? Hmm? Why keep coming back for help when you're not willing to accept the truth? Truth is relative, Dr. Lynch. And I am here for help. I want you to help me talk to her. How exactly do you think I can help you with that? I don't know, Doctor. That's why I'm here. Henry, I think it's best if we discontinue our sessions. I know a great team of doctors. Please. Dr. Lynch, there's no one else that can help me. Now, I've read your studies in hypnotherapy. Please, this may be my only chance. Hypnotherapy is not an exact science, Henry. There's no guarantee it'll yield any results. And in your case, I don't think it's best to condone such rational behavior. Look, 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 look. I'll make you a deal. You do this for me, and I'll take whatever help you feel best suits me. Henry. Please. <sighs> and you'll take my help. Cross my heart and hope to die, Dr. Lynch. As soon as we're done, I'll be making a few phone calls. Do what you have to, Doctor. All right. Lie back and be perfectly still. In order to obtain full lucidity and complete transcendence, I'll be using a different type of hypnosis. Mili Somnil. I came across it when I was abroad in Haiti. Okay, close your eyes. Count down and feel your eyes weak. Slip into form. The shadows swarm and drag you down into Millet, Somnil, Spavanier, Spavanier, Spavanier. Further and further you feel yourself slipping away from the grip of reality. Down you fall, weary and 
weak, weary, and weak. Now, Henry, where are you? I'm here. I'm, here. I'm, falling. I'm falling. In the pinhole of light, it's there. Yes. Good. I... I, 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 I don't see her. Concentrate, Henry. Call to her. I'm here. Where are you, my love? Come to me. Please. Come to me. It's you. I've come to talk with you. I have a plan. Us. Together. Forever. Henry. Can you still hear me? Please, keep me with you. I'm so tired of my world. I want to be with you. Always. I love you. Henry. Wake up, Henry. Hmm? No! No! Henry? Henry? Oh, dear God. Henry, wake up! Henry! Henry!